Hello, my name's John, this is Necromunda Hive Secundus, and you're watching War Games Models and Other Hobbies. Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm filming this on the day I received my copy of Hive Secundus in the post. It's going to probably be about 3-4 weeks till you see this video. So there are most likely loads of videos on YouTube having a look at the contents of this, having a look at all the different details. So thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. I haven't opened this yet. I've got some idea of the contents, but I'd like to kind of do it on camera so you can see all the things that are in this and whether it's worth getting or not. So first off, just want to say this is my own copy. I bought it myself. I don't have any kickbacks or anything like that. So whatever I'm going to say about this is what I think. Now, the first thing I am going to say about this is box quality of the game. Games Workshop now, Warhammer is producing much thinner boxes than they used to do. Whether that's down to a cost thing or whatever, I'm not keen on them. It's the one thing that I kind of... I prefer the old thicker cardboard boxes. Small issue, I know, but hey. So let's have a look at the artwork on the front. So here we have a Spira, some Van Sars, and some of the Gene Stealers. The box itself, it's not a really thick box itself. And on the back, we have details of the board and things like that. So, one thing I do like, though, about the new boxes is how they're not all wrapped in cellophane anymore. Some of them are still, but most of them are just held together with a little bit of tape. So let me just cut that. Let's flip it over again. As you can hear as I flip it over, it does move around a lot. So I don't think this box is massively overfilled. So as we take this out, okay, so what have we got? We have a flamer template and blast markers. One thing I didn't mention as well at the beginning, this is a standalone game. So on the front cover of the box, we have Zone Necromunda game. So this is a standalone game. You don't need any of the other Necromunda games or supplements to play this from my understanding. I may be wrong, but we'll have a look. This may mean we're going to get different standalone games in Necromunda. Who knows? So first things first, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take all of the sprues out. We're going to have a look at them in a minute. So here we have the little card sheet that is in most of the Warhammer games now. Nice little bit of artwork. Selection of bases. So here we have sci uh, sci Hive Secundus cards. So this have all the Gene Stealer details and presume all the gang members and so on. I really like that box. That's a nice little card case. It's nice seeing the Hive Secundus kind of craters as the details on there. Okay, I like that. This sounds like it's the dice. Let's have a little look. Yep. Oh, I like the colours. So we have a kind of a minty, greeny, turquoisey colour and then the black. I like those dice. They look, at a glance, like the standard Necromunda dice. Let's just put all those back in there. have here some flight stems to go with some of the models, I presume. Have a look at that in a minute. Okay, so everything, rather than plastic, everything's wrapped in these little envelopes. Really quite nice details. I like these. We'll open those in a second. Just going to have a quick look at the last two things. So we've got a range ruler, 
and then this high secundus book this is our, okay our manual so it goes through all the different models in there so I will do another video on making some of these but we have the gene stealers and teramites the brood scum the Vansar Tech Hunters and the Oros Spira Hunters and a Kayatid Prime. I'm going to learn how to say these things. Apologies if I pronounce them wrong. But yeah, nice little. Okay, good instructions there. So anyway, let's go back to these envelopes. Now, I'm going to cut the seal on this rather than try and peel it off. So in this one, this is our gaming board. So as you can see, we have all of the squares on there. We've got some ruined templates, areas where walls would go and so on. That's quite a nice little addition there. And then this one just here, let's cut that open. And this is a selection of, okay, so we have a paperback rule book, counters, and two Hive Secundus reference sheets. Now I'm just going to have a quick look at this. So we have our contents here. We've got history and background section, box contents, weapons of gang war, general principles, gang fighters and their weaponry, founding a gang, the rules, psychers, battlefield setup, secundan incursion gangs. So I'm going to quickly jump to the gang pages. Okay, yeah, so there we have, looking at, just briefly, all of the kind of, the details about all of these game characters. It looks as if it's going to be exactly the same rules as the other variations of Necromunda, so Ash Wastes and Hive War. So, not going to have to learn too much to replay this. So what I'm going to do now, let's just put a few of these things back in and we're going to have a look at the sprues and their quality. Let's have a look at all of these sprues. So starting with these ones, these are hive scum sprues, so these are the standard hive scum that have been previous released so nothing new on that one they released in 2021 2022 i think but there we have one and two of those sprues so that looks like that would be eight of those and then what that should give us yep which we have here on two of the gene stealer sprues we have various heads and looks like there's a few don't know if the hands and things are part of the gene stealers I haven't looked at those instructions yet but we've got various heads that can go on those high scum but yeah these variations of the gene stealers look really quite nice with their kind of deformities and that kind of thing so that's a really nice sprue, I like that one. So you get two of those, so quickly looking at that, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like six of those gene stealers. This is, looks like the Oros Spire Hunter. And then we've got, I can't remember the name off the top of my head, I'll put it on the screen. That little character, yeah really like the look of that. I'm going to look forward to building that. And then here we have the Vansar Tech Hunters. 
Now this is a brand new Vantar sprue and it looks really quite nice actually having a quick look. So we have here a what looks like a flamer combi weapon. We've got a cloak. Just having a look and seeing what head variations. Yeah, so quite a few different head variations. That's a really quite a nice sprue, nice little backpacks and details like that on it. Yeah, as someone who likes Vansars, that's a really nice little set to have there. We then get, ah, oh, there we go, that is the original bulkhead and doors sprue from when Necromunda was first released again. So that's 2017, 2017-18, I think. So that is quite an old sprue, that one. So out of these sprues, we have, well, including as well as the blast markers and the flamer template, there's four sprues, two of them are duplicate, that have been around for quite a while. We've then got five sprues, two of which are duplicate, the Vansars and the Gene Stealers, are brand new, look really nice, and I'm looking forward to start making those. I will do some videos on making them. But all in all, I think it's a nice box set. Just gonna have a quick look at these cards and see what they include. Because obviously we're going to get a new source book for High Secundus. So we have our cards for the Gene Stealer Gangs. We then have some blank cards. And then we have, looks like some loot cards, which is quite interesting. Quite a lot of loot cards. An awful lot of loot cards. And then we've got territory cards. Okay, yeah, so that's all of the cards we need. Set. Okay, so... Is it worth the price tag? Oh, £105 if you buy it from Necromunda. Obviously, you can get it at discounted rates from other online stores, which I did get this from another retailer, so I did get a slight discount on it. Is it worth £105? This is the thing, I love Necromunda. I do like a lot of Games Workshop stuff, but pricing now... So, Hive Secundus, £105. Um, let me just have a quick look at the entry level Necromunda game. Um, so, it's £5 cheaper than Hive War, which is the other entry level game for Necromunda. Meh. Yeah. It's the price of them now. I'm not too... Uh, it's hard, because I do like these games, but they are pricey. It is expensive. In the next few videos, I'm going to start putting some of these things together so you can have a look at them, and you can make your own decisions. If you've got any comments on this, I'd love to hear them, whether you think, yeah, it's overpriced, or whether it's worth it. I like to hear people's opinions on that kind of thing. I'm going for might be slightly overpriced, as with quite a few of the games now, but we shall see when I start making them. But anyway, overall, I say it's positive. If the worst thing that I can say at the moment is the price and the quality of the box that it comes in, it's looking good. So I'm gonna go off, have a read of the rule book, and then in a not too distant video, I'm gonna start putting things together and chat about what I think. But anyway, for now, I just want to say thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you to all my new followers. If you're not a follower, I would appreciate it if you click that follow button. It's a big thing for me to know people are enjoying my hobby with me. 
If you want to hit a like on the video, please do that as well. But like I said as well, any comments on this or any other videos you want to see, put that in the comments section as well. But for now, just want to say, my name's John, thanks for tuning in, and you've been watching War Games Models and Other Hobbies.